What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Scorps, and you enjoy my content, please slash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading, truths hidden for sign of Scorps. This is to resonate here, Scorpio, with any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hammer, Super Charge. Stop the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Uh, it's truth hidden. It's a little different. And then my other readings. It's more general current pulling of the energy. It's supposed to resonate 24 to 72 hours after the time that you view it. Um, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Sorry, that's daily tea. Um, it's basically a current pull. Uh, it's basically what somebody doesn't want you to know. It's what somebody doesn't want you to know, uh, basically. Now, um, this is for May of 2022, but everybody's on different time in life paths. So for some of you guys, it could resonate outside um, the May time frame. For some, it could go into June. For some, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But um one message may apply two may apply two plus may apply only you know your story not anybody else you were the own manifestor of your own destiny so you make sure that you only take the messages that resonate and you leave the rest for somebody else there's millions and billions of people in the world and tons of people that view these uh my videos in the channel so you know it's very important for you to tailor it to your own specific needs because this is a free collective reading okay Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 12,635 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakra. I really, really do. I did receive one channel message as I was meditating on your truth hidden for May of 2022. It's energy, and I heard Jezebel. That's all I heard, Jezebel. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So I feel one of you guys... Oh, and this is what they don't want you to know. So I feel one of you guys is dealing with the Jezebel. And they don't want you to know they're a Jezebel. Now, I feel for a lot of you guys, it is a femme energy. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be a masculine that takes on heavy femme, possibly. But I strongly feel for a majority of you guys, it is a femme energy. They don't want you to know they're Jezebel. Now, I have a loose... I have a loose understanding of what a Jezebel is, um, but I'm going to read the Google definition um, so everybody is on the same page here. It's basically a hoe, a slut, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, I'm not trying to be crass, but I'm just being real. But we're going to read the Google definition of Jezebel, okay? In, impudent, shameless definition of Jezebel. An impudent, shameless, or morally unrestrained woman. That is the definition of a Jezebel. So, like I said, I feel for a lot of you, majority of you guys, if that particular um, message, what they don't want you to know is they're a Jezebel. I feel they're femme energy or energies that is a Jezebel, but they don't want you to know they are. Now, you could be a masculine or femme energy, uh, sports, but for the one, they don't want you to know they're a Jezebel. I strongly feel for a majority of them, they are femme energies or masculines that take on heavy femme. And I'll read it one more time. And I told y'all I thought it, it, it was like a whole rare slut. But basically, that's what that is. It's like, I, I think of the song, she's a hoe, she's a hoe. And I'm serious. I'm serious. Okay. An impudent, shameless, or morally unrestrained woman. So it's somebody that, um, you know, puts their woo everywhere, like sexually. Um, I feel for some, they could be swingers. They could be... Um, swingers or former swingers or um or something of that nature um or they've slept with you know their their numbers like 20 or 20 plus or 200 plus or i mean they get around whether they've been paid for it in sexual services like physical money like prostitution energy or not i mean just saying just saying whoever that person is and how they apply okay Number 44 could be a very significant number of one's life. Number 44, it could be a possible age of uh, you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. Number 44, that is the un only number in this uh, spread so far. So you plug it in, how it resonates. We have elk, butterfly, butterfly, endurance, perspective, empathy, woman holding a heart. 
Uh, for some of you guys, I feel earth sign and an air sign is very significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion, or they want to be because this is what they don't want you to know, possibly, or um, maybe they're hiding something from you or something of that nature. Um, you have to plug it in how it resonates. But earth sign and air sign energy strong and your truth's hidden. Uh, if you are dealing with earth sign or air sign, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Ben Hammer, Jupiter, Charts, if you are. Help. Someone is about to try to exert their dominance over you, but you are about to transmute the energy in a very positive way. For some. Ooh, so what they don't want you to know is somebody's about to try to exert their dominance over you. Um, but I heard for some of you guys, you're going to transmute the uh, energy in a positive way. So for some, they don't want you to know that somebody's about to basically abuse their power in some shape or fashion. They're about to abuse their power or attempt to, if this resonates for you. Uh, for some, it could be an earth sign that's uh, going to, that's either going to abuse their power or attempt to abuse their power. However, that resonates in one's life, Scorpio, they could have a Taurus, Cap they could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they may name it Jupiter charts. If this resonates for you, Scorps. Some, they're going to abuse their power. I think manipulate something regarding you um, and for some they're going to tip to um, but I heard for some of you guys you're going to transmute the energy so for some you're going to transmute the energy so change it to um, change it to go in your favor basically for some for some it doesn't sound like you're going to be successful but it really all depends if they actually abuse their power or attempt to because that's two completely different things um, you plug it in how it resonates butterfly A glow up is about to happen very soon. Some, someone connected to you. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So what does it, someone doesn't want you to know is a glow up is about to happen soon to uh, someone you're connected to, Scorps. Um, this could be someone you're currently connected to, someone of your past, um, someone you used to know, someone you went to school with, yazzy, yazzy, yazzy. But it's someone you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. A glow up is about to happen with this person. So they're about to metamorph. How do you say that? They're about to metamorphosize. Um, have some metaphor metamorphosis going on, basically. Uh, they're about to come out of their cocoon into the butterfly, baby. Um, they're about to hashtag glow up. Um, this is what someone doesn't want you to know. Maybe it's this person. I think for some, this person, um, you do not communicate with them, or maybe you just haven't been in communication with them or haven't connected with them in a while, or it's somebody your past. But uh, what you don't know is they're about to glow up. They're about to metamorph metamorphosize. Say that five times fast, just saying, just saying. Um, I feel like from a cocoon to a butterfly energy is what I'm feeling. For some, it could be an air sign about to do this. For some, it could be someone with um, air in their chart or another sign. How that resonates um, in one's life. Libra rising. Libra rising is what I just heard. Libra rising. So for some of you guys, this person that's about to glow up, it's not you, but it's this is what they don't want you to know. It's another person. Um, and it's someone I don't think you're connected to right now, Scorps. Um, I don't think in the 3D world. Um, they have Libra rising. So they have Libra in their rising sign. Um, everybody has a sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in heaven and Jupiter charts. But this person has Libra in their rising. Um, and whoever this person is and how they apply to you. Um, if that resonates. Okay. Endurance.
Someone is a lot stronger than than you gave them credit for in the past. About to prove you wrong in a huge way. Okay, this is what someone in, uh, someone doesn't want you to know. That someone's a lot stronger than um, you gave them credit for in the past, and they're about to prove you wrong in a huge way. So whoever this person is and how they apply in your life, Scorpio, only you know who this person is, and not anybody else. You have to plug them in, how they resonate. But um, endurance in this aspect is the strength energy I'm feeling. Um, they're a lot, I don't think you gave them credit for being strong, um, whoever this person is. And I think mentally strong, physically. Uh, mentally and physically strong and emotionally strong. Um, I don't think they're a codependent, codependent person. I feel they are very independent, but for some, I don't feel they are financially like they're rich. I don't feel they're rich or a trust fund baby or, um, or they um, are financially inept, but I feel they are smart. They are strong, like physically, mentally, and everything that could encompass one to eventually become a very rich person is what i'm feeling so exactly what i'm feeling um i didn't hear any of that but that's my logic intuition and reasoning here i heard you didn't give them credit in the past um but you're about to see how strong they are so endurance energy of this person uh, this is what they don't want you to know that basically they're about to blow up and for some i feel it's somebody that has libra in their rising chart um rising sign You plug it in, how it resonates. Perspective. Oh, hold on. This person has really rose from the ashes. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes. But for some, you were lied to. You're about to find this truth out soon. Okay. Heard for some of you guys, this person uh, rose from the ashes like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Um, and I heard uh, th this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. So I think somebody else doesn't want you to know that this person basically rose from the ashes. Because I heard you were lied to. Um, I think you were lied to about this person from another person. It could be from a, a earth sign or air sign, possibly, that you were lied to about this person. But whoever this person is, they're significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. But you're about to find out the truth, that basically they did rise from the ashes. Um, and they're building themselves up or they've already built themselves up. But I think you were lied to by a person or people. And I think it strongly might be an earth sign or air sign that lied to you um, that... I think they told you that this person was uh, spoiled or they didn't uh, or they were cognitively not with it or they cut they can't um, handle their own or um, you know or they're not uh, mentally cognizant to perform blase 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 or what have you like just malicious lies and falsities basically but I heard you're about to learn the truth you're about to learn the truth. So um, endurance is this, in this aspect is this person rising above, rising above all the negativity, all the drama, using their skills, qualities, and skill set within themselves to rise forward and rise out of the ashes, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Perspective. Someone wanted to seriously dominate you in the past. Some you're highly intuitive and you, you sense this. For some, you got to, you had a wake up call. You already know this. For some, you're about to learn it. We have a lot of domination energy in here. Control, abuse of power, abuse of authority energy in here. A lot. If this resonates for you, Scorpio. Somebody, what the, they don't want you to know is, I mean, they just wanted to, control and dominate the hell out of you for some of you i mean just like i feel like dom and sub energy which i hate to make it sexual in here but i'm serious i mean for some it might not have even been sexual but it was like that's kind of the energy i'm feeling whether you were sexually with them or not 
they wanted to make you like their rag doll. Or it could be like a mannequin energy, um, like a ventriloquist type energy, um, puppet on the string. Control your every move. And they're controlling the strings to control your every move. If that makes sense. That's what I'm feeling for some. I mean, a lot of abuse of power energy in here. A lot of control, over-domineering control tactic energy in here. And this is what they don't want you to know. It's several people, I'm feeling for some of you guys that could have been doing this or attempting to do this for some. It could have been one, but a lot. A lot of control over abuse of power, domineering as type energy. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But um, yeah, they wanted to, what they don't want you to know is they wanted to control you. They wanted to control your every move. I feel like a, the, the ventriloquist dummy and the strings, the puppet master as type energy. Um, that's what they don't want you to know. Man. For some, I feel their perspective might have ch has changed now. Because uh, for some, I feel you might have taken your power back or you're about to. This is crazy. And for one Scorpio, I f it is a person of your past. You are going to make great strides to connect with this person soon. It's been years. Their perspective will change on you, but you have to be true, truthful and honest. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so it's somebody of your past. This is what somebody doesn't want you to know, of course. It's somebody of your past. You haven't connected with them in years. Um, like, I feel a physical 3D conversation and being with them in a physical 3D, if that resonates for you. You haven't been around them in years, I heard. Um, they have some kind of perspective, um, perspective on you now, currently, because I think it's because of the actions that have transpired from the last time you've seen them, which has been years. I feel in two or two plus years. How that resonates. But how that resonates, um, I heard that you're going to travel towards them soon to speak to them is what it sounds like. Speak to them, communicate with them, etc., etc., etc. It sounds like you're about to do this. But I heard their perspective will change on you, but you need to be honest. So it sounds like you're about to put effort in going to visit this person. That's what it sounds like. You're about to put effort in going to visit this person. Their perspective right now, I feel, is a negative perspective. I feel it's a negative perspective. But I heard their perspective will change after you, but you have to be honest with them. You have to be honest with them about the past. So their perspective right now is I feel is a negative one. It is a negative one. And it might be this phoenix rising from the ashes energy you're about to go visit for some of you guys. I feel for some it might be. Uh, but however that resonates, I feel they have a negative perspective of you now. But if you're honest about the past, I heard their perspective will change. It will change in a huge way, but it is very important that you do not manipulate. Know this. Okay, I heard their perspective will change in a huge way, but it's, it's very important that basically you be honest about the past and do not manipulate. So um, what they don't want you to know is their perspective of you right now, this person of the past, of I feel in two or two plus years, it's negative. Um, but it sounds like you're about to travel towards this person to communicate with them. But I heard it will change. But it's very important for you to be honest about the past and do not manipulate. This person does not like manipulation. And I feel they can, they're highly intuitive and they can probably spot it, spot it from a mile away. So it's very important not to manipulate this person or the situation. But if you're honest, their perspective of you will change. And it sounds like in a positive way, it might be a feminine energy for some of you guys. I feel, actually, I feel for the majority of you guys, it's a fem energy you're about to go travel towards. Um, that's what I'm feeling. And um, I think their heart will melt a little bit, like ice chips off the heart, um, if you're honest and you don't manipulate the situation, is what I'm feeling for some. And I feel they will have empathy for the situ situation, possibly. Um, and their perspective will change. But you have to be honest. You have to. I don't care how hard the truth is. You, it's important to be honest. Um, and that's that's the truth in this spiritual download. Whoever you are and how this applies, okay? Okay. Empathy. But this is what somebody doesn't want you to know. This is what somebody doesn't want you to know, okay?
A particular feminine energy is about to have lots of sympathy for you. But she's not she's not naive and dumb. Okay. Uh, okay. So what someone doesn't want you to know, I'm presuming this femme energy. Uh, I think for some of you guys, this is femme energy. You're about to go visit. And I'm serious. But only you know your story now. Anybody else. But anyways, I heard basically... Um, she is about to have a lot of empathy and sympathy for you, but I heard um, she's not um, she's not naive. She's not naive and dumb. I feel for some, you already know this, um, but for some, you might try to manipulate um, or, con or contemplating and manipulating her, um, but it wouldn't be smart if that was the game plan there, sports. If you were trying to manipulate her or um, make her out like she's dumb, dumb, it wouldn't be smart, and that's just the truth. Um, I don't... Only you know what your plans are when you communicate with this person. So hopefully that helps somebody out there, okay? Um, but um, I heard she will have empathy and sympathy for you, but she's definitely not naive and she's not dumb. But I feel she's going to have empathy and sympathy for you if you're honest about the past. Because I feel one of you guys, you have an urge to be dishonest about the past, but it wouldn't be smart. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. But this is what she doesn't want you to know. Is that she will. She will have empathy and sympathy for you. And her perspective is going to change. But I feel she might poker face you. Poker face energy you a little bit. Um, but to protect and guard herself. Because she's not dumb and naive basically. Woman holding a heart. For one, Scorpio, your feelings run deep for a feminine energy, and through many series of chain of events, her feelings will run deep for you, too. She's not going to tell you off the bat. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of emotional energy in here. A lot of emotional energy, Scorps. Dear Lord, so you plug it in how it resonates. So, um, uh, one of you guys, uh, you can be masculine or feminine. You plug yourself in where you fit, Scorpio, but somebody, one of you guys is about to be heavily dealing with femme energy. Uh, you can be masculine or femme, but you're about to be heavily dealing with the freaking femme energy, and I'm just being real. But I heard um, through many series of chain of events, her feelings will run deep for you, but she's not going to tell you off the bat. So, to protect herself, to protect and guard her heart, protect and guard herself, protect herself. Um, I mean, that's smart, to be honest. Just be real, real. That's smart. I mean, you can care for somebody. And not tell, I mean, and not be ugly and rude and malicious to them, obviously. But, and not straight up and say, hey, I like you. Check yes or no. Like, fifth grade. No. You know, I, I'm, whoever she is, she, she's intelligent. She's not a dumbass. And I feel she's got some good street smarts about her. And I'm just being for real. But, um, I heard through many series of chain events, um, your feelings run deep for her. If this resonates for you. Your feelings run deep for her. But through many series of chain of events that sounds like about to be created in the universe, maybe by you, maybe by her, maybe by both of you, her feelings are going to run deep for you too. Um, and her perspective is going to change on you is what I'm feeling. Um, but she's not going to tell you off the bat to protect and guard that heart of hers. Just saying, because, you know, most of us have had our, our hearts freaking broken and crushed and, um, freaking smushed in the smithereens in the past. So most people, is not they're not going to open up and just say, I like you, check yes or no. Yeah, nay, nay. We're in freaking 2022. That's just not the way it, it rolls. <laughs> so of course she's going to guard her heart is what I'm saying. Whoever this feminine energy is and how she applies in your life. Okay, let me see if I hear anything else. But this is what she does to want you to know that basically she is going to have feelings for you, emotional feelings for you. You have emotional feelings for her, I heard. But, and I feel for a lot of you guys, you're going to put, put it out there to her, but she's not going to open up to you immediately. But I think for some of you guys, it's because of the past, because we have past energy in here, traveling energy in here, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, but she will. I think it's going to take some time and some communication and some um, interaction with each other in the 3D is what I think. But 
Only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. But she doesn't want you to know that. Just saying, just saying. Okay. I didn't hear anything else. All right, this is a pretty good one, Scorps. Pretty good one. Uh, just saying, just saying. Love you guys so much. Um, if you think anyone else would like my channel or um, would like my videos, etc., 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 please feel free to share my channel very um, publicly, word of mouth, and social media. I very much appreciate it. Help support a single mom and two kids and one of her income streams. I'd so appreciate it. Love you guys. I'm today.